So over the years, there are fads and popular things that I think are just silly. And I pay no attention to them. And years later, when something looks back at them, more often than not, I'm just like, it was dumb then, it's dumb now, why should I care? But then sometimes I'm like, you know, I never paid attention to something back then. Why don't you tell me all about it? Now that it's, but for all intents and purposes, done in an hour and a half or two hours, yes, please, tell me all about it. And that's what I did with this. New on HBO Max streaming is a documentary called Beanie Mania, and it's about Beanie Babies. Now you might think, seriously, a documentary about Beanie Babies? Well, yes, I am serious. It's a documentary about Beanie Babies. Uh, because again, I remember when they came out and I remember thinking, yeah, they're just little, they're little, they're little stuffed animals, who cares? And then they became insanely popular and valuable and I was like, really? And then people talked about how they would be worth so much money and I said, D don't, don't get in that for the long haul. And then they, they sort of faded away, but you still would occasionally hear people talking about hoarding Beanie Babies because they're gonna be worth something someday and I always would just shake my head. So this documentary tells the full story or the story up to this moment in time of Beanie Babies, where they came from, the people who were involved with making them what they are, and people who are super fans of them and sort of the rise and fall. And it was fascinating. This documentary, Beanie Mania, fascinating, highly entertaining. You find out, I found out, that the whole Beanie Baby craze apparently was really started by a small group of housewives in suburban Chicago who got into this thing and wanted them and started calling around farther and farther afield for them. Apparently Beanie Babies, I didn't know this, they were never sold in chain stores. They were only sold in small independent stores. And that's, I found this fascinating. I find, if you can give me a concise analysis of a cultural phenomenon that was a bit of a head scratcher in documentary form, I'm always gonna be there for that. And that's what this did for me. Um, it was very interesting. So you get these women who were in at the ground level of making them popular, who then became like, in a way, Beanie Baby celebrities and experts. One of them started a magazine. One of them became, and still is, a paid authenticator of Beanie Babies. You have the fans who, who hoarded them and, and had everyone they could get. You get vintage news, cl news clips, very much like the Cabbage Patch mania of the 80s, where you have somebody in a store surrounded, it's like Dawn of the Dead. It's a clerk in a store surrounded by a horde who's like, you're, it's, it's like you're throwing raw meat to zombies or, or tigers, but it's, it's beanie babies to grandmas and suburban housewives who just desperately want that specific edition and there's only so many to go around. It's just, it's, so the vintage news is fascinating and kind of funny and seeing people now looking back on it about their involvement with that mania and, and how they view that period of, of their lives. You get the naysayer, you get the, the beanie meanie they called him who was this guy who would come on and, and really lay down the rules of supply and demand and how trends go and all that stuff and, and speculating and all that stuff. And the people who did make a lot of money on these things, it's in the people who thought they would and, and held on to them to this day and maybe they will, maybe they won't. I've been a collector of many things over the years, so I see little bits of that in it. But overall, it was just really, really entertaining. It's not that long, maybe hour and a half tops. Uh, available on HBO Max. I would pretty highly recommend, whether you think you want to watch it or not, Beanie Mania.